So I decided to take on an artist that I don't necessarily know as well, although I do know her. I don't know her. And it's Mariah Carey. Now in taking on a new artist, there's always going to be a bright side and a dark side to that singer. And not necessarily to their voice, but simply to the task of actually talking about that singer. So I wanted to give you a few reasons why I think we need to talk about Mariah Carey. The first reason lands on our bright side, and it's simply that if anyone has adapted their songwriting to their voice, it's Mariah Carey. With the breadth of career that Mariah Carey has, there is so much opportunity to dig into who Mariah Carey is as a songwriter in relation to her voice and to see what she has done over the years to adapt to changes in her voice. Like what always interested me is, you know, figuring out exactly when and why Mariah Carey went from using a more thicker sound in her mid-range to a more breathy, foggy tone on her mid-register. Okay, so I thought I was onto something when I said that, but I listened to Love Takes Time. And I realized Mariah has always been using this softer, whispery tone from the beginning. Essentially, because Mariah Carey is so involved with her songwriting, looking at her music will actually help us to see a little bit more of a reflection of what she's thinking about her voice. Now, the second reason why we need to talk about Mariah Carey falls on the dark side. And it's simply that Mariah Carey's voice and career tends to be analyzed in a localized way that writes off her extremely high career points. And I talked a little bit about this when I started to go through performances that we needed to see for Mariah Carey. Everybody and their mom wants to undercut the prowess that is Mariah Carey in order to look at at her career in a very segmented, localized way without looking at the big picture. When people hear Mariah Carey's voice today, it's as if they forgot that she is Mariah Carey. <laughs> and I feel like there's an opportunity to look at the bigger picture here, looking at the full breadth of Mariah Carey's career and celebrating the voice in all stages of it. Now, another reason why I think Mariah Carey needs to be studied is because Mariah Carey is busted through walls in pop music to help broaden the playing field for black music expression. I've always felt like Mariah Carey was kind of like this Trojan horse for pop music where, you know, you got like the balladeer that is Mariah Carey, but as time has gone on, especially even in the earlier part of her career, um, I think it was with uh, Daydream that Fantasy was on. You're getting a more hip hop, R&B infused sound from Mariah Carey. And so Mariah Carey is very important to the black presence in pop music, in my opinion. So I really wanna get into how Mariah Carey's black lineage has not only inspired her singing, but her overall career. Now, another reason why we need to talk about Mariah Carey is because her voice, I feel, is a very big enigma. And this is kind of a bright side and a dark side together because Mariah Carey's had a lot of trouble vocally. She's talked about dealing with nodules and not wanting to have surgery on those nodules. I actually have nodules and I've never had them removed because I was just told not to. And it's kind of cool because it seems like a lot of the vocal troubles that she's had has led to a lot of the most iconic parts of her voice. Uh, when they're bigger sometimes, that part of my voice is stronger. For example, I've heard her talk about how the rasp in her voice is kind of the same place where she places her whistle register it's like a place in my voice that I've always had because I have kind of a raspy voice naturally. So it's kind of like something within that where it comes from. The imperfections of Mariah's voice are actually the same reason why her voice is iconic. So I kind of want to see the correlation between those two places. And honestly, as a vocal coach, that's what I love helping people do, really discover how the weaknesses in their voices might actually be strengths. And so that's why I've actually created a free resource for those of you that want to start that singing journey for yourself. So I want you to go to reclaimyourvoice.ca slash masterclass, and I want you to watch my free training because there I give you five steps to actually being able to discover what you are looking for in your own voice. Whether it be runs, whether it be belt, whether it be longevity, whether it be emotion. Sometimes it just starts from getting the right information. So definitely go to that masterclass at reclaimyourvoice.ca slash masterclass and reclaim your voice. Reclaiming my voice. Anyway, some more reasons. The next reason why I think we should talk about Mariah Carey's voice is because her voice is really a masterclass and how to push the limits of the voice 
for prolific artistic expression. It's very interesting to see how much Mariah Carey has pushed her voice to the absolute limit. Hearing the things that she's crafted in the studio, I can hear that she is really being like, what is the most that I can do with my voice? <laughs> She really has pushed the boundaries for a lot of singers. And if we get into that, we can really start to see how much impact Mariah Carey has made on singers as a vocalist. Now, the thing is, the, the way that she's pushed herself in studio is not always something that she's been able to keep up with live. And that's okay. No singer is perfect. And I think that studying Mariah Carey will give us a chance to look at some of the imperfections of her voice, whether it be in the studio and live, accept them and still celebrate her as a vocalist. If there's anybody in the world that deserves to be celebrated for like such a level of impact on the pop music industry, it's Mariah Carey. And so what we're gonna do in order to do that is I actually took some time to kind of go through uh, a few of your guys' suggestions of performances because I'm not necessarily a lamb. Uh, I like Mariah Carey, I've listened to a lot of her albums, but I'm not necessarily a fan fan. So I needed to get some help from some fans. And I also had a great conversation with a lamb that I think that will help us to kind of contextualize this conversation. And from there, we'll get into some some vocal talk throughs where we're looking at some of these performances and breaking them down. So if you want to be a part of that journey, definitely subscribe to this channel because this is a place where we help you to reclaim your voice, reclaiming my voice. And if you want to see more of how, when I've talked about Mariah Carey, just hit the button over there and you can look at my playlist. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.